My name is Chip Schilling. I'm out here today uh, with Alicia Ballard. Alicia is co-owner of King Cobra Apiary, where we're standing in the midst of, out here in Saxapaha, North Carolina. Alicia also works for BSF. So Alicia, talk to us about uh, bees. Why are these creatures so important to farmers and, and the general public? Yeah, so up to 80% of our flowering crops are pollinated by bees, and uh, bees actually help farmers increase their crop yield every year. You said 80% of crops. Um, what are some of those crops that you might run across in a farmer's market? or in your local grocery store? Yeah, so uh, pumpkins, cherries, apples, almonds, uh, tons of vegetable crops such as broccoli, carrots, a lot of different melon varieties such as watermelon. Bees are part of like a farmer's uh, pollinator portfolio. Uh, what would be some tips to helping manage those uh, on a farm? Yeah, so what farmers can do to help out uh, honeybees as well as other uh, native pollinators is around their crop fields, they can actually have a natural buffer zone. Native trees such as tulip poplar or other flowering trees, um, and also farmers can plant wildflowers. So if farmers have hives on their farm or around their farm, what are some things they should be keeping in mind? The best thing that they can do is just give them a call to tell the beekeepers when they're using integrative pest management practices on their crops. It lets the beekeepers know if they should move the hives, um, so that way the farmers can spray their crops at a certain time. Well, Alicia, thanks for letting us come out here today. It's been really enjoyable to kind of walk around, see your different hives, and see your farm. Yeah, well, it's great to have you out here. Thank you for coming. Thanks.